We've seen quite a few of those rain clouds erupting across Trinidad and Tobago, also some thundery and uh, heavy, but there's some Saharan dust to follow that tropical wave. Meanwhile, the rainfall for the month of uh, July is getting along. Basically, we now have uh, 150 millimetres. We normally expect a 250 millimetres, so we're getting uh, closer to the uh, target. And then, obviously, the wettest month for Trinidad is out in August, so still the early wet season rains continue. But there's still quite a bit of Saharan dust around, and that's basically been limiting the uh, tropical waves coming through. There's no development expected through later on uh, this week. Also, with the westerly wind shear, basically, will basically shave share all of the uh, winds off of those uh, tropical waves as they come through. So, lingering moisture tonight will bring a few showers, especially across the hillsides of Tobago, but it'll be quickly followed by that Saharan dust, bringing hazy sunshine towards uh, your end of your morning and into the afternoon. For Trinidad, occasional showers uh, tonight. There's still the possibility of uh, lightning being seen along uh, the uh, coastlines of Trinidad, especially out towards the sea, but overall you'll be seeing those occasional showers through the morning, and then as you go through your afternoon, a lot more hazy sunshine is expected, pushing through from uh, the east and then going towards uh, western parts towards Port of Spain by the end of the afternoon. So a damp start for those of you in San Fernando and a point fourteen, but there will be some hazy sunshine to end your day with just occasional showers uh, towards the end of the afternoon and through the evening. Temperature-wise, looking at uh, 24 degrees Celsius, is still quite warm at times. 25 will be the minimum in uh, Tobago, a high of 31 in Keenan and then 32 in Scarborough. Now, later on at this week through Friday, that Saharan dust will be quite thick, so we would likely see all of that haze continuing into Saturday and Sunday for Tobago especially. For Trinidad, that haze will be interrupted by occasional showers and also some broken cloud, and you'll see that through Saturday and Sunday as well. Offshore, there's very little change. It's still seeing moderate choppy seas in the Caribbean, getting up to 2.5 metres further out in the Atlantic, with east northeasterly swells of 9 seconds, and you'll continue to see those uh, fresh easterly trade winds blowing. The winds have been quite strong this year. They've been stronger than normal blowing off the Atlantic, Atlantic and that will likely continue through the rest of July. Now, for the Caribbean, there's only the one tropical wave entering the Eastern Caribbean the Sea. It is set to bring a lot more moisture towards uh, Santo Domingo, Puerto Rico as well. So you'll see some of those showers maybe turning thundery across the hillsides around uh, Santo Domingo. But ahead of it, out towards uh, port au prince it still remains quite hazy, as it will do for Jamaica. For the Eastern Caribbean, you'll see the tail end of that moisture, especially for the Windward Islands, up towards the north as well. Still remaining cloudy and damp, especially uh, for St. Kitts and uh, for Antigua. 30 degrees Celsius there, but uh, 31 in Roseau. And they'll see some hazy sunshine to end their day through Thursday. So that's your weather, and that's it from me.